Good morning everyone, my name is Eric Creo and welcome to the Creo Studios. So, here's my community tabs if you have not seen, because it's been 14 years since Disney XD was launched. So, happy 14th anniversary to Disney XD. And last night, because Kansas City Chiefs wins at the Super Bowl, it's been three years since Kansas City Chiefs wins at the Super Bowl. So, a special thank you to Kansas City Chiefs for winning at the Super Bowl. And goes to the toast. Cheers. This video was brought to you by Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. Now available in flavors. Cream soda, cherry, and the new strawberries and cream. And without further ado, here's my new episode of Why I Won't Rant On. So, if you don't know where it is, this is a section of Why I Won't Rant on a certain movie, TV show, YouTuber, video games, songs, or what have you. So, this video is requested by Hunter Firestone. Hunter Firestone, if you're watching this, you're going to love it. So, Here's my why I won't rant on the latest live action, I mean, live action show, I mean, live action movie based on Dora the Explorer. And that is Dora and the Lost City of Gold. What kind of the title is this? So, Let's begin the plot. For the plot, we have Dora when she is a teenager who wants to go to high school, and then suddenly when Dora who wants to found out in a mysterious temple of Mexico, I believe, to find in the lost city of gold, and then suddenly happens is it's up to Dora to rescue the mission, and that's basically the plot for the entire movie. So what do I think about this movie? So Ever since on Nick's Kids Choice Awards for 2019, Dora, I mean Dora and the Lost City of Gold was announced of the new trailer. That, hmm, what is this? Hmm. So, since I have not seen Dora and the Lost City of Gold in theaters, so, I was supposed to watch Dora and the Lost City of Gold on Paramount Plus or online, but Hunter Firestone is right. Yep, my friend was right. I'm not watching Dora and the Lost City of Gold on Paramount Plus and online. Thank goodness I don't have to waste my time to watch this children's live-action movie. So, I just saw Playing With Fire in theaters ever since nearly four years ago. And it was way better than Dora and the Lost City of Gold, in my opinion. Playing With Fire is one of the most underrated Nickelodeon movies I've watched in my life. Why? Because they have the Easter eggs of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. You know, since I'm a brony. So... Since Playing With Fire, this is the last Nickelodeon movie I saw in theaters. And what about The Loud House movie and Paw Patrol the movie? These are the final two Nickelodeon movies I enjoyed. But Nickelodeon movies started to go downhill thanks to Paws of Fury, The Legend of Hank. So let's begin the story of Dora and the Lost City of Gold. The story of the film looks absolutely, really that, awfully script. The visuals and special effects were, eh, I thought it was okay. Not the best, I thought it was decent. The characters, sometimes it's kind of much more improvement over an educational animated show itself. But Swiper the Fox looks pretty good in this movie. It has really nice design. And he is a lot better than 2019's old design of Sonic the Hedgehog. 
and not to be confused with the ugly Sonic from Chippendale Rescue Rangers. So, and that's basically it. And don't forget, Swiper the, Fo I mean, Swiper the Fox in this movie is a lot better than the actual show itself. All right. <sighs> and the music scores look really sleepy, and the soundtrack is pretty bland. So, since you you know what's even better that I saw this movie in August 2019, The Angry Birds Movie 2. The Angry Birds Movie 2 is way better than Dora and the Lost City of Gold. At least. Dora and the Lost City of Gold was a lot better than the actual show itself, but overall, this movie is still overrated. And I cannot believe why this movie got good reviews better than Frozen 2. No. Frozen 2 is a lot better movie than Dora and the Lost City of Gold. So, and that's my video called Why I Won't Rant on Dora and the Lost City of Gold. Hmm. How many months there since I did a Why I Won't Rant on Dora the Explorer Relatives? Usually? Nearly eight months. Wow. It's been nearly eight months since I already did my Why I Won't Rant on Dora the Explorer Relatives. For example, Dora the Explorer, Go Diego Go, and Dora and France into the city. Who oh boy, since I completed, I did it. All right, and coming soon for new episodes of Why I Won't Rant on a good day to die hard for its 10th anniversary coming Wednesday. So, if you want to see more videos to my channel, click subscribe, click the bell button if you want to see more messages, notifications, whatever you like. Tell me what do you think of my video. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for the request, Hunter Firestone, to do a Why I Won't Rant on Dora and the Lost City of Gold. That's a pretty good idea. So, I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, goodbye. And before I leave, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Goodbye.